Hi, I'm Will McLaren. Welcome to another edition of Commandos TV alongside J.F. Domfus. J.F., you're three days away from the home opener here, facing the Metro Shipbuilders on Saturday night. And it uh, looks like the roster has basically uh, come around and uh, you've got it finalized. So uh, let's take a moment here and uh, look uh, through all the positions. There's a bit of turnover from last season's team. Um, starting in Nets, where there's probably the biggest turnover, uh, or one of the biggest turnovers, in uh, the departure of Jonathan Way, of course, your overager. Um, what uh, have the commandos done to uh, replace Jonathan Way in Nets? Well, we, we, uh, we did acquire a goaltender from Ontario, um, Connor Wilkinson. Uh, he's an acquisition that uh, we, we made during the summertime. Uh, a kid that played in Kelowna Junior B uh, last year, he's from Ontario. Um, he was drafted in the OHL a couple of years ago. He's got some experience, and uh, he uh, he had a great training camp. He played really well in Bathurst the other night, and we're quite pleased with uh, with him uh, coming with the Commandos. We have uh, Vincent Charre also, who uh, who was a draft pick of us uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, had a great season with the Midget Flyers uh, last year, and uh, he really played well in training camp. He deserves a spot on the team. Uh, Tim Tucker is currently uh, injured. Uh, he had a, an ankle injury uh, in the first couple of days of camp, so we'll see how that goes uh, down the road. Okay. Now uh, let's move up to the forward line here. We'll skip the D uh, for now, but up front, uh, once again, a little bit of turnover, but a lot of familiar faces, especially in the top two lines this year, as well as a little bit of help from uh, the Moncton Wildcats as well, sending a couple of players recently down, uh, one injured, but one ready to play right away. Uh, let's see how things shape up up front here, Jeff. Yeah, we're quite pleased uh, without going and, and uh, naming all the players. We're quite pleased with uh, what we have coming back. Um, obviously, when you talk, uh, Danny Shias and Zach Cahill, uh, Joel Blaine Shard, uh, you know, we, we, could, uh, we could go through the whole lineup, uh, Alex Murray, uh, Ryan Langan, uh, it's, it's, those are players that uh, are going to bring the experience and, and the skill level up. And uh, we also have a few from the Midget Flyers uh, who really impressed us in training camp. Uh, the skill level and the intensity was, was really high. You can see that these kids uh, had a great experience going to the Telus Cup last year and they, uh, they really showed uh, they, they really made a good impression in training camp. So overall, we're uh, really pleased with uh, with uh, what we have uh, up front. And like you said, uh, we, we got a couple players as well from the Wildcats, uh, Simpson and Beckwith up front. And uh, I'm sure they'll uh, they'll be a, a big piece of, uh, of our team. All right, uh, just to go back to some of those returning players, uh, uh, particularly a guy like Ryan Langan, who was uh, briefly up in training camp with the Shawinigan Cataracts this year. A guy like Danny Chase on as well, who's got uh, a uh, few miles behind him uh, in the QMJHL. Uh, guys like that, Joel Blanchard as well, of course, Moosehead's draft pick. Have you noticed uh, uh, a bit of an effect that uh, these kids going to these major junior camps have, uh, have uh, brought back with them to Commando's camp this summer? Oh, big time. Uh, I'd say, you know, any, any time you have an opportunity to go to a uh, Q camp, it's uh, it's a good experience. It's uh, mileage that you, uh, that you put on. and. But the big thing is for, for me uh, that I realized the most is the season they had with us last year, the experience, uh, the fact of uh, going away from home for, for the first time for a lot of those kids. So going through uh, the whole process for a second year, uh, it, it makes a big difference and you can see that the kids are really uh, comfortable playing for the Commandos now and uh, we really expect uh, these kids to, to take your leadership uh, role and uh, really help us uh, achieve uh, bigger things. Okay. Now, uh, moving on to the back end, where you know, we've probably seen more turnover than anything, mm -hmm. uh, along with the goaltending side of things. Um, Jed Rosker has made apparent uh, this summer that he was going to be uh, going to Austria to uh, play over in Europe. Um, of course, you made a deal earlier this week, uh, dealing Adam Guy to the Truro Bearcats. So, uh, quite a bit of a shake up on the blue line, but uh, still a, a, a very more than decent top two. and. Uh, I'm sure you would agree. Uh, probably some decent depth uh, going down down the roster as well. Yeah, we're quite pleased. We're uh, we we weren't sure uh, going into training camp how it it would look like, but uh, uh, going through the exhibition games made us feel a lot better with with what we have. Uh, Justin McDonald has been uh, great. Uh, he's another one that had a Q camp uh, with the Sea Dogs. Uh, he's he's showing great things in training camp. Uh, Jocelyn Galan is another one that, that's, that's been outstanding in training camp. He's, uh, you can see it's his third year now uh, with the Commandos. Uh, he's, uh, he's gained a lot of maturity 
and uh, his game is uh, has been uh, has been solid. Uh, and then if you go through, uh, we we have Alex Clark coming back. Uh, he was an affiliated player with us last year. Played some games in the in the playoffs. Uh, Mathieu Martin is another, another veteran coming back. So um, if you add uh, McCarthy, Paul, and Bellevue, it it makes a pretty good uh, top six defenseman. Uh, I'm not going to lie, we're looking at uh, possibly making a move for to acquire another defenseman, uh, but they're not easy to get. Uh, the first, that's the first part. And uh, obviously we'd like to start the season with seven defensemen, uh, if possible, because of injuries and, and uh, kids going through exams in school. And, and it's, uh, it's always easier as an organization to, to run the season with seven defensemen. All right, just to go back to uh, one thing, talking about Adam Guy being traded to the Truro Bearcats. Of course, Truro hosting the Fred Page Cup uh, this coming April. Then plus you have Summerside over in, in the Meek Division here, hosting the RBC Cup uh, later in uh, in March, or later in April, I should say. How does that affect you as a general manager in trying to make any deals this year uh, in in uh, comparison to, say, previous years where uh, the MHL is not hosting any joint? No, it, it's been a, it's been a challenge, and we know it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a very competitive season. Uh, uh, there's a lot of teams that are uh, stacking up and, and uh, uh, paying high price to, to get some key players. And uh, when you're hosting major events, uh, it, it is a situation you have to perform and you have to put the best hockey team uh, on the ice. So for us, uh, I mean, it, did it affect uh, the way we uh, prepared this summer? Not really. We we go through the, the draft process and we try to recruit. Uh, one or two free agents uh, during the summertime, uh, and and right now we're just happy with what we have. We're going to try to compete as best as we can against those big teams. But uh, with the lineup that we have, I'd say we uh, will we'll do we'll do quite well. Yeah. Well, the competition begins here, as we said, on Saturday night, 7:30 p.m. Uh, Commandos will be hosting the uh, newly uh, constituted uh, Metro Shipbuilders, uh, formerly the Metro Marauders, and uh, uh, really a. a if you could say anything, I mean, a team that's expected to be on paper anyway, to uh, lag behind definitely the Bearcats over in the Bent Division, maybe as well the always competitive Mariners. So uh, maybe look at it as a good first challenge for this commando squad. It should be a good game. Uh, Metro has a good uh, talent pool uh, when you look in the Halifax area. They always recruit uh, quite well and they're well coached, so it's, it should be a really good game. That's great, uh, JF. Thank you very much for this. And uh, I'd like to remind you once again that uh, that home opener on Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. here at the Arthur J. LeBlanc in Dieppe. The Commandos taking on the Metro Shipbuilders in MHL action. You can come down to the rink and watch it or watch it live on FastHockey.com. For JF, I'm Will McLaren. Thank you for watching Commandos TV.